you can get these fancy, thick audiophile cables on AliExpress for quite an affordable price. But can they sound any better than these regular, cheap stock cables? Let's figure that out. Whether cables can make an audible difference is well, the most controversial topic amongst audiophiles ever. I'll help you understand what is a complete BS and what isn't, as it's straightforward. But before I say anything about it, I need you to know that everything I say is my experience alone. Neither am I forcing you to believe in my view of reality, nor am I trying to sell you something to profit from it. Companies, or generally people that claim cables will make your system sound 10 times better, sound staged twice as wide, allow you to hear God with them, or say that cables can be a limiting factor in your setup, are, obviously, straight up telling you lies, without a doubt. You shouldn't listen to them, and you shouldn't buy anything from them. The difference can be this big only in cases when you're comparing a broken or incorrectly made cable to one that functions properly, not with an OK quality cable versus an audiophile grade one. The last misconception people fall into is that hi-fi cables can never improve sound over the stock cords. So what's the truth? It's simple. Audiophile cables can make a small but audible change in your system. Now this how I said can instead of will. Only some systems and listeners are going to benefit from all this effort. Your system can be not revealing enough. And while it can sound like nonsense, think about it. When your amplification is noisy, it can cover up whatever your cables are improving upon noise-wise. The same goes for distortion, impedance matching, and obviously your ears and experience in audio. It's absolutely fine not to hear any difference between cables. Arguably, it's even better for you financially. So, let's see what we have there. First of all, RCI interconnects. The model that I have here is PS75R1R. What a complicated name. It comes in this kind of blue Monos Edio branded box. I think all of their cables come in such boxes. At least all that I've got. They are well protected, including the connectors, so any damage during the shipping is unlikely. These RCA interconnects have pure silver conductors, which is their main characteristic. Silver is a better conductor than copper. It has a lower resistance and is subjectively known to sound brighter and bring out more details and textures. The conductor diameter in these cables is 0.8 mm. The outer diameter of the cable is 8 mm. That's pretty thick for an RCA cable. But wait till we get to their power cords. It features four shielding layers, which is always good to see in an unbalanced audio cable. The first layer is made out of aluminum alloy. The second one is electrically conductive PVC. The third one is aluminum alloy again. And the fourth one is pure copper nickel plated braid. They used Teflon, PTFE as an insulator. Finally, they put a soft, nice to touch, great looking nylon braided layer on the outside. With all these layers, combined with the thickness, you would expect it to be stiff, difficult to work with, right? You couldn't be more wrong. These are highly flexible, easy to position, and can make somewhat sharp bends without damaging the internal wire structure. A lot of hi-fi cables with similar thickness cannot do that. The connectors used here are, simply put, impressive. Monos Audio sells them separately under the name R201R. What's so impressive about them? They use typical high-purity copper as a conductor. The crazy part is that the housing is made out of polished brass and they went for a chrome-plated finish. As a result, the connectors are very heavy-duty, sturdy and beautiful looking. Functionally, they didn't sacrifice anything. They have a locking mechanism that ensures secure contact until intentionally unscrewed. The screwing in or out is so smooth and frictionless. It indicates high quality machining and attention to detail. How about the sound? Is it any better than generic stock RCAs? Yes. I've heard the biggest improvement in the treble region. It got more refined, slightly accentuated, and seemingly more detailed. I didn't notice any sound stage, imaging, or dynamics change. However, my system could be simply not resolving enough to hear that. It's time to check out another product for Monos Audio, their RJ45 Ethernet cable. It's available in a variety of lengths, ranging from 75 centimeters to 5 meters. The run I'm making is very short. 
going from my network switch to my music server, where all my lossless audio files are stored. At the moment, I only possess one of these cables, therefore not all Ethernet connections in my setup use this cable type. Because of this, the improvements resulting from upgrading the network cable are limited. To see more significant improvements, I would need to upgrade all the cables in the chain to the Monos Audio ones. I will come back to it later on in the sound part. The conductors of this cable are made out of pure oxygen-free copper, although it may not seem like a big deal, Many Ethernet cable conductors are made out of copper-clad aluminum, CCA. It is a CAT8 cable. If you are not familiar with the term, let me explain it briefly. CAT stands for category. The higher the number after it, the higher the speed and frequency of the signal that cable can support and is guaranteed to work with. For example, regular CAT5E supports up to 1 gigabit signal speed. CAT6 can support up to 10 times as much over a short distance and requires the cable to have shielding, which is not mandatory for lower categories. On the other hand, CAT8 can push up to 25 or 40 gigabits per second over a long distance of at least 100 meters supporting a bandwidth of 2000 MHz. This is a significant upgrade over lower categories. You may be wondering how high-speed Ethernet cables relate to audio. Well, Ethernet cable categorization is a standardized method that ensures cables meet certain requirements like geometry, shielding and conductor quality. The higher the category, the better cable's internal quality needs to be to meet the requirements of that category. With CAT8 cables, you can expect the most sophisticated shielding, conductor pair twisting, materials and internal geometry, since it is the highest category available. This cable's outer diameter is very thick for what it is, measuring an entire centimeter with a soft, Nice to touch braided mesh layer on the outside. They use industrial grade metal connectors providing extra shielding and sturdiness, unlike other cables with plastic connectors. I was supposed to talk a little bit more about the sound, so let me do that now. If you replace only one of your Ethernet cables with this one, what changes can you expect? You'll get slightly lower noise floor and lower jitter, which can contribute to a wider, more accurate soundstage. However, these improvements may be barely noticeable, if at all. If you want to see a bigger improvement, you should consider upgrading all of your Ethernet cables rather than just one. Finally, they have a product that may be one of the most impressive ones they offer, both in terms of build quality and sound performance. Monos Audio P903M0 Power Cable. What makes it so special? The conductors are thicker than regular and they are made out of high-purity, oxygen-free copper. This combination offers lower resistance, thus lower voltage losses, which means that less energy is lost to heat, resulting in a more stable signal over time under varying loads. Polyethylene is used as an insulator and there are four layers of shielding, each with a different material. The layers include a 100% transparent membrane, 80% pure copper braid, 100% aluminum foil, and conductive PVC. The outer mesh covering on the cable has a luxurious feel and looks fancy, but it doesn't provide any additional flexibility to the cable. This is because there are many layers inside of the cable, which makes it quite stiff. However, this stiffness is not a significant issue, as power cables are typically not adjusted much once they are in place. It's worth noting that the cable has an outer diameter of 13.6 mm, so flexibility is not expected to be a strong point of this cable. The connectors are not my favorite. The heavy and metal connectors are my preference over these ones. You can get the connectors used here separately under the E100 or F100 name depending on the plug your country uses. The plug's conductors are also made out of high-purity OFC copper to accommodate the wire's conductors. It's worth noting that this plug has no plating over the copper prongs. This reduces the contact resistance, but it's unclear how it will affect the cable's longevity. Luckily, Monos Audio lets you opt in for their version with a protective plating of your choice. I understand how signal wires or even digital cables can make an audible difference, but the idea that a power cable could make much of a difference just doesn't make sense to me. Don't get me wrong, we are still talking about a very small improvement, but it's important to remember that we are talking about a power cable that doesn't carry any audio signal. Yet with this cable, the dynamics, punch and slam are noticeably better. That's the main thing. 
I would assume that the lower resistance played a big role in it. Additionally, the sound seems to be fuller and cleaner. And I believe it's due to the better shielding that prevents noise from getting into the cable and radiating out to the other components. Good job, Monos Audio!